a very beautiful morning beautiful afternoon and beautiful evening to everyone my professional colleagues how are we are doing how was preparation for our all ski exam guys keep practicing you're definitely succeeding in your all ski exam well done guys so guys um i want to give a big shout out to all those who pass their all ski exam welcome to your band five rules and i'm super 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 proud of all those who have passed their own ski exam in fact welcome 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 to your band five rules and if you're preparing for your all ski exam guys all ski is really 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 simple please keep practicing your all ski exam you will definitely succeed in your all ski exam all right guys so today i'll be talking about a topic that consigns both those writing the whole OSCE and those writing the new OSCE. So today I'll be talking about care plan for post-operative patients. So if you're writing the old OSCE, you know you still have self-care activities. But if you're writing the new OSCE, there is no self-care activities. All right. So planning for both the old and the new OSCE. Planning for the old OSCE is 15 minutes and yes for the new oski i think it's 14 minutes all right so if you get a post-operative patient to plan for there are four care plans that you should work within four care plans definitely for any post-operative patient number one care plan could be mrs haley is having pain due to incision side with a pain score off so when you are assessing your postal patients you ask you're having pain and she tells you yes when you ask her to score your pain when she scores her pain and probably she scores the pain seven then you can say mrs haley is having pain due to incision side with a pain score of seven out of ten now what if the patient is not having pains it's possible because she's a patient who has had surgery mrs ailey is at risk for what for infection due to what incision sites or that's number two care plan mrs haley is at risk for infection due to what incision sites or if you like mrs haley is at risk for infection due to surgery yes because she's had surgery and number three care plan you can also use this mrs ailey is at risk for hemorrhage she is at risk for hemorrhage also because due to incision size so you can just put this is at risk for hemorrhage due to surgery all right so and number four care plan you can use is mrs haley is at risk for fluid volume deficits mrs haley is at risk for fluid volume deficits if you like speaking english too much you want to do you want to you know evidence it or you want to say due to nausea and vomiting so it actually depends on the scenario you get but for any post-operative care plan these are the four care plan either the patient is having pains the patient is at risk for fluid volume deficit uh, and number three the patient is at risk for infection number four the patient is at risk for hemorrhage so for any post-operative care plan these are the four care plans that are applicable to any post-operative care plan now, I really want you to pay attention very well to what I want to say now. Any patient who you are planning for post-operatively, you must monitor the observation every 15 minutes for one hour, right? And every 30 minutes for another hour and hourly for the next four hours. Failure to write this can lead to a fail in your OSCE exam. Because previously, when you're monitoring a patient, you write, monitor and record Mrs. Ellis' observation. Probably you have a news of four. And you know if it's news of four, we monitor and record your observation four to six hourly. So maybe your patient is having a news of four. So you can then write, monitor and record Mrs. Ellis' observation four to six hourly and escalate as per news two policy. But for post-op patients, it is not applicable. For post-op patients, it is not according to your new score. Post-op patient, that's the patient that came from the theater, post-op, you have to monitor and record the patient's observation every 15 minutes for one hour, 30 minutes for another hour, and hourly for the next four hours. Guys, I hope it's clear. All right, so now let's plan for the four care plans. And you know, like I keep saying, Imatarid makes your care plan so easy. Imatarid makes your care plan work so easy. So let's plan for pain. Mrs. Haley is having pain due to incision side to the pain score of 7 over 10. Aim of care, Mrs. Haley will verbalize relief of pain with a pain score of less than 2 out of 10. Re-evaluation day to be re-evaluated today, hourly, and as the clinical condition changes. Now, E, matari, E, 
explain all aspects of care and gain consent. Hem, monitor and record a list observation every 15 minutes for one hour, 30 minutes for another hour, and hourly for the next four hours and escalate according to the news to policy all right then a assess mrs haley for pain using the pain assessment too e my t teach mrs haley deep breathing exercise and repositioning for comfort all right administer or prescribe analgesic and monitor its effectiveness after 30 minutes refer mrs haley to pain management team inform early to use the call bear and document all care as planned so for those doing the old or uh, the new OSCE, you don't need to write self care but if you're doing the old OSCE, i'm going to give the self care that is applicable to all the four care plans number one early verbalize understanding of our plan of care number two early consent to treatment number three early participate in our plan of care Number four, Ailey understand pain assessment to used. Number five, Ailey understands as education given because you told her you taught her the breathing exercises and repositioning, all right? And number six, Ailey understand reason for referral. Number seven, Ailey is able to use the call base. So that self-care activities is applicable to everything, all right? So I don't have to repeat that again, guys. So number two, Kepler, like I said, Mrs. Ailey is at risk for what infection due to incision sites aim of care mrs ellie will have normal vital sign with clean dry and intact words post-operative sites with no sign of what infection so the aim of care is mrs haley we have normal vital signs with clean dry and intact post-operative sites with no sign of infection re-evaluation dates to be re-evaluated today hourly and as the clinical condition changes now e matari e explain all care and gain consent m monitor and record a list observation every 50 minutes for one hour 30 minutes for another hour and hourly for the next four hour a assess mrs ailey for any signs of what infection eg redness foul smelling order order assess mrs ailey for what any sign of what infection eg redness foul smelling odor you know and high temperature then e ma then teach what do you teach mrs haley teach mrs haley to report what any sign of what infection teach mrs haley to report what any sign of infection now what can you teach mrs haley to report any sign of your teacher to report any sign of infection such as decreased urine outputs such as high body temperature so assess Mrs. Ellie for any sign of infection. Assess Mrs. Ellie for any sign of infection. Just that redness, foul smelling odor. Then T, teach Mrs. Ellie to report any signs of what? Of infection. And change addressing using ANTT. So teach Mrs. Ellie to report any sign of infection. And change addressing using what? Aseptic non-touch technique. So if you write ANTT, that's fine. All right? Administer all prescribed medication and monitor its effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer Mrs. Ellie to what? Refer Mrs. Ellie to infection control team or tissue viability team. So refer Mrs. Ellie to infection control team. Then what first? E matter refer. Inform Mrs. Ellie to use the call bay. D document okay as planned. So that's all for what risks forward infection. All right. What about if the patient is at risk for MRI? So number three care plan is risks for hemorrhage so mrs ailey is at risk for hemorrhage also due to incision sites aim of care mrs ailey we have normal vital sign with clean dry with clean dry and intact post-operative ward sites with no sign of hemorrhage mrs ailey we have normal vital sign with clean dry and intact post-operative sites with no sign of what of hemorrhage re-evaluation dates to be re-evaluated today hourly and all as the clinical condition changes e explain all care and gain consent <laughs> immaterial somebody will say you're so fast this immaterial if you know immaterial you just know how to input it all right guys m um, monitor and record daily observation every 15 minutes for one hour 30 minutes for another hour and hourly for the next hour so the next thing is what is a assess mrs ailey for any sign of infection Sorry, assess Mrs. Ailey for any sign of what? Uh, hemorrhage. 
So assess Mrs. Ellie for what? For any sign of bleeding and apply what? Pressure dressing. Assess Mrs. Ellie for any sign of bleeding and apply what? Pressure dressing using what? ANTT. That is aseptic talk, aseptic non-touch techniques. Then T, teach Mrs. Ellie to what? To report any sign of bleeding, such as pain, such as tachypnea, such as reduced during output. So teach Mrs. Ellie to report any signs of what? Of bleeding, such as pain, tachypnea, Tachypnea and reduce urinary output. Then, e matare. Yeah, administer all prescribed medication and monitor its effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer Mrs. Ailey to who? Refer Mrs. Ailey to what? To the surgical team. Because she's bleeding, obviously. There's risk for bleeding. So, and if there's risk for bleeding, you have to inform the surgical team. Then inform Mrs. Ailey to use the call bear. Then document all care as what? As planned. Now, if you followed me up, I've already given self-care activities. And I told us, Ailey is able to... Ellie is able to understand all treatments given. Ellie understands her plan of care. Ellie consents to treatment. Ellie participates in her plan of care. Ellie understands health education given because you just have to report any sign of bleeding now, Abi. E.g. Tashipnia decreased urine output, so she understands health education given. Ellie understands the reason why you're referring her to surgical team. Ellie is able to use the call bear. All right? So, now, another thing you might want to worry about is there is risks for fluid volume deficits. Risks for what fluid volume deficit due to what nausea and vomiting. So your aim of care will be Mrs. Haley will be able to tolerate oral intake without nausea and vomiting. So Mrs. Haley is at risk for fluid volume deficit due to nausea and vomiting. So Mrs. Haley will be able to tolerate oral intake without nausea and what vomiting. Reevaluation dates to be reevaluated today, hourly, and as the clinical condition changes. E Explain all care and gain consent. Monitor and record daily observation every 15 minutes for one hour, 30 minutes for another hour, and hourly for the next hour. Assess early for any sign of dehydration. What are the signs of uh, dehydration? E.g., decreased blood pressure and dry mucous membrane. Assess early for any signs of what? Dehydration. E.g., decreased blood pressure or dry mucous membrane. Then, E ma, then the next thing is what? T. What do you want to teach? You want to teach Mrs. Ailey to report any episode of what? Of vomiting. Teach Mrs. Ailey to report any episode of what? Of vomiting. All right. Administer all prescribed medication and monitor its effectiveness after 30 minutes. Refer Mrs. Ailey. Who do you refer Mrs. Ailey to? Refer Mrs. Ailey to medical team slash surgical team for further management. Inform Ailey to use the call bear and document all care as planned. Guys, it's really simple. So these four care plans are the care plans applicable to any post-operative patient. Please use them when necessary. Read your patient scenario and if they are applicable, why not? You can use them. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share with your friends preparing for all ski exam. And don't forget to like and leave a comment for me. I'll see you in my next video. And until then, keep passing your all ski exam. I love you all, guys. Bye.